G'day everybody, welcome back to Reactive Gaming with Chris. And James. And welcome back to Red Loader. (laughs) (laughs) Not something the virus at the moment. Today we're going to be going through and showing everybody how we use Red Mod Manager. Now Red Mod Manager, or Red Loader as they call it, is made by Tony Macaroni. Now it's a mod that we use for Sons of the Forest essentially. It gives us all these abilities to fly around and build. Um, it's just endless possibilities to be honest. We'll, yeah. we'll go through all that. But we want to start at the very, very beginning. Now, if you already have Red Mod Manager and you have issues with it, which I know people do because I got a message just uh, today or yesterday or something like that saying, why is my Illuminate? Not working. Every time I use Illuminate, it crashes Sons of the Forest for us. I'm like, okay. There's always, I had the same problem uh, when 1.0 came out for the game. I had the same issue. And we yeah. found the best way to do this is to completely uninstall it. Now, don't, not just uninstall it from here, but you need to go into your game folder. I'm going to do this with everybody straight up. So you got to delete your Red Loader folder, your mods folder. Those two, delete. Done. Go through and uninstall it. That is fully uninstalled. Close that down. That's all good to go. We are back to basics where you would be if you've never used Red Mod Manager or anything like that before. All right, let's go into Google. And we're going to just type in Red Mod Manager. I'll leave a link down in the description and also up here on the screen for everybody so they got it. That's how you spell Red. Close. Red Mod Manager, Sons of the Forest. That's going to bring you to this one here. So it's uh, SOTF Mods. And this one is made by Tony Macaroni. You'll come up to this screen here. You'll see Red Loader, Red Manager. We're going to download Red Manager. Now, this is an EXE file, which means Microsoft will not like it. It is 100% safe. I could guarantee it. We've been using it for like nearly a year now, and there's never been an issue by it. Yeah. So you'll see here in the blue writings at redbotmanager.exe. Click on that one. That's downloaded. Okay. Windows protects your PC. It's always going to do this because it's an EXE file. Windows is funny about it. Don't know why, but it's just how it is. We're going to run anyway. Then you're going to come up with a screen again. There's two things you're going to need to do. You're going to have to download .NET 6. So we'll do that quickly now as well. It should be this just this link here. And there it is there. Let's install that. This is actually a Microsoft program as well. So it's perfectly safe. Yeah, 100% safe. It just requires the runtime in it. Don't know why. I, don't, I didn't make the program. I'm just showing you how <laughs> how yeah. we use it. Okay, that's successfully installed, so that's all done. Don't worry about that. Close that out. Now we're ready to install. So we're going to quickly install Red Manager 0.7.0, and that is fully installed. Now we're going to go to the mods. Now this is where it gets fun. Let's enlarge the screen here. So you have all your mods all in here. And there's a shit ton of them. Some worthwhile using, some not. First thing I would download is the one that we always use every day of the week. And it's just been recently updated last three days. It's called Axel Mods Menu. So we're going to go and install that one. That is done and dusted. Let's have a quick look, see what else we got through here. The next one that I really, really, really want to get is Illuminate. If I could see it, that'd be awesome. Tank mod. That's the one we used when we did the military yeah. base. I might yep. actually re-download that one as well, because I like that one. Uh Builder Buddy, what's that? That's that's what I use. Yeah. Um it it allows you to have creative mode in hard mode, survival, and all that sort of stuff. It allows you to to build stuff. Yep. And it gives you the full um, uh, creative mode infantry. Mm-hmm. 
And stack mods is another one that you use, yeah, isn't it? That's the one I, lo- I love. That one, yeah, it's handy. Yep. So, what do stack mods do? Um, stack mods will let uh, will allow you to stack whatever in your infantry as many as you want. Um, at the moment, like it gives you a limit of like it gives you a limit of nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. But obviously, you don't need to fill that in because uh, the more you put on. Naturally, it's going to slow your game down, and um, it can even crash it. Mm. So, yeah, it, just keep that in mind when you're putting that uh, that on. But it's good for loading up shelves and um, other things like that. Like uh, in previous video, we had um, the we were, we were removing or when you're removing um, uh, a scaffolding. You know, you only hold three in game or four in game. Like I got mine set at ten, so it lasts a little bit longer. Um, yeah, so it it is a good good mod. I use it a lot. Yeah. Yep. Sweet. Another good one for people that love using rope bridges. It's called extended yeah. rope bridge. Yeah. It's, the sky's the limit. You know, yeah. with this sort of stuff. It's always a really good one. I'm not a big fan of rep bridges, but I know that would be handy on a certain build, so I might just leave that one for now. Yep. The other one that I really... Well, not that I like to use, that I have to use. Um, Where is it? It's like censored or something like that. Oh, yeah. If, uh, they, well, if you go left, you've got Illuminate there. Yeah, I saw Illuminate. We'll download that one real quick. So this one is really, really good. For, I'll show you when we all get into it. It's also a Tony Macaroni one. Yep. It's really, really good if you want to. You could brighten up things. You could see things from a distance better. You know, stuff like that. It's always a really good one. Uh, what else one? Build share. You like that one, don't you? No, I I do like the idea, but it's not up to. Um, it's still in alpha. Oh, at okay. The moment. Okay, so it's yeah. not even not even beta version yet. Okay, fair enough. Um, what else we got here that's really good? Okay, yeah, Red Sensor. This is the one that I have yeah. to use because of YouTube. Yeah. I have to use it. I have to cover up the titties, unfortunately, because, yeah, YouTube doesn't like nudity. Yeah. But, yeah. They've fr- got a frown on that sort of stuff. Yep. Yeah. They got the plane mod here as well. Yeah. It's fun for a minute. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's a novelty. S- same as the helicopter one. It's It's yeah. fun for a second. It's just nothing. Nothing that mm. great. Uh, what else we got? We got heaps here, man. Um, one that didn't work for me or I didn't like was the uh, MP3 player. Okay. Didn't really like that one for some reason. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't Yeah, it wasn't good. I haven't tried a lot of these, to be honest. I probably need to go through and have a look. Yeah. Uh, Zipline extender as well is a really good one. Yep. You could, you oh. could stretch a zipline as long as you want. You want to start at the coast and go all the way to the top of the mountain? You got it. Yeah. So that's a really good one. I might keep that one as well. I'll chuck that one back on. Um, so you've got over here enemy uh, across right one, enemy tracker. Uh, some people do use that um, to let you know when um, your enemies are around you. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of it. I, I like to um, have the surprise. The element of surprise, absolutely. Yeah, but yeah. the enemy tracker will be really, really good because you can see them on, is it on your GPS or on your uh, little map? On the little map, I on think the mini it is. map, yeah. So you'll see yeah. like enemies coming and stuff like that. Yeah. You, you'll be more prepared, I guess, which yeah. is a good one. My other one that I I wear by is if you go up one row and then across um, to better lighter to the right. Be- oh, better lighter, yeah. You love that one. Yeah, that's. Yeah. It's um, you know, like when you're building instead of um sleeping in in um. Uh, spring and all that sort of stuff. You just um, put the lighter on. It's just like daylight. Um, yep, I'm going to try that one as well because I actually haven't tried that one. But James has been raving yeah. about it for a while now, so I'll give that a crack. Yeah. All right, so that's basically all your mods. I'll let you go through and have a bit of a look for yourselves um, if you decide to download it. Uh, extras, modding, everything like that. That's pretty much all done. Okay, so we're ready to go. Essentially, yep. that's all installed. You got your dot uh, dot six. Was it net dot six? That's all installed. So let's go through and actually start the game up. Now, this is going to take a little while because it's installing it onto your Steam um, in, in, in Steam library and everything like that. Okay, so that's all done and dusted. And it took about 30 seconds. 
mods. You can control these from your main screen. So you're at your load screen before you go multiplayer or whatever. But you got mods here. Control all it from here. So Sons of the Forest, sorry, Sons Game Manager is the red loader. That's your main thing. This is how you control basically everything on it. Uh, you could do skip intro. So it gets rid of the whole, that, the whole intro bit. You don't have to worry about it. You could uh, skip building animations through here. Now, this is a big one for a lot of people as well. They've been asking about. Yeah. So these are all automatically ticked, I believe. Yes. No, no. Um, not? With the, um, with the uh, when you first start this up, none of that side there will be ticked. It's just that the um, the red manager has mem memory of these ones being um, true. previously ticked. True, true, true. Okay, so you're gonna have to tick what you want. Yeah. Uh, you can control a you know a fair bit through here, but these are the main things you're gonna want to look at. Um, on obviously skip building animations is a given. No one likes that. Well, some people might. I don't know. I don't. Um. Yeah, it's pretty much it, eh? In, oh yeah. yeah actually uh instant inventory opens a pretty good one yeah. too i like that yeah. you don't have to wait yeah. for the whole animation just pops up real quick I'll show you soon okay the um yep sorry the, uh no consume an animation that saved you a bit of time yeah that's not because... that big of a deal for me personally but yeah for some yeah. it might be it will basically yeah. just eat it and you won't even see it being eaten so you're eating a yeah. piece of meat it's just done you're full you know what i mean yeah so yeah that's a good one uh, in Axle Mods, I don't think there's a lot we can do in here except for change the way you open your Axle Mods. So it's yeah. it's defaulted to Insert, but I have found that Insert doesn't work for a lot of people. So you can just change that to whatever you want. You yeah. just click on it and click whatever key you want. You're good to go. Uh, everything else, the map key. Now, the map doesn't work. It brings up a big map. I'll show you, but it doesn't actually show your current location, which is annoying. You could change that because I don't know about you, but I when I'm using cheat stick, I'm typing M a fair bit. I'd probably yeah. relocate that to something that I would never use, like pause or something like that. You know, yeah. the break button. Yeah, so everything so, in there, that's pretty much done and dusted. Right, see down the bottom there, it's got should save um, settings. You definitely tick that one. Click that one, yeah, because it's annoying that you have to keep reverting back and yeah. changing your settings. It's... Yeah. It's a frustrating process, especially when you got it exactly how you want it. Yep. But that's um, that's pretty much it. So I I leave mine as insert because I'm used mm. to it. Um, map, yeah, I might not change it to the pause. I might change it to the home button or something like that. Yeah, I normally have mine on page down. Yeah, page down, whatever. It doesn't matter. You pick whatever you want. Yeah. Um, now, no clip key, V. That's so if you're in flight, flight mode... mode and you want to get out of it all of a sudden just hit v or click whatever you want to assign the uh letter to yep oops yep okay cool all right the next one here is better lighting i'm not going to play with that one because i don't really know anything about it but i'm assuming james does yep yep it's all good yep that's all good yep beautiful uh illuminate is a good one to really yeah. get familiar yeah, yeah. with yeah yeah, you've got yours saved. Um, yeah, all my stuff is saved to what it used to be. So the ones you want to see now, this one, this is the only reason I use Illuminate is the yeah. wall torch distance multiplier. You set that to max, you'll see your torches from a greater distance, same as light bulb distance. Um, I haven't actually done it for the spotlights, but I probably should because spotlights are awesome. Yeah. Uh, light bulb distance multiply just set all those to max if you set all those to max you'll see it from miles away that's the good thing about it yeah. now these other ones uh temperatures you can play with the temperatures of the colors of your war torches you don't like them so yellow make it up it goes up in like um well, it's not calvin's what is it um oh geez i can't remember the name what is it that you use in uh, temperatures of the colors of, like, say, light bulbs and stuff? I'm not too sure. Is it increments? No, no, no. It's a special name for it. I can't remember it. It doesn't matter. So you change. You could change it to make it wider or yellower. Same as the bulbs. Yeah. Same as pretty much everything. It's Spotlight. very touchy with the, with the measurements. You, you move it one or two um, spots or something like that, and you could go back into the game, and it's fully white. Yeah. So if you're gonna Be if careful, you're gonna take yeah. it up, take it up in increments. 
you got the war torch intensity this is the one we're talking about yeah so this here i would be see how quickly it jumps up just keep that yeah. even maybe use your little cursor and just move it like that yeah at the end of the day if something goes wrong and and, and it's too bright you've always got the revert button yeah just revert it back to factory and start again yeah just make sure just please make sure you do not max out the yeah. wall torch or the light bulb intensity you will just wipe your screen out and you can't see anything yeah. so don't yeah. do it it's not worth it all right that's pretty much it for illuminate um red sensor that's that's a you know that's a given you could once again do a sensor so this is really good not only for people that make youtube content but if you have kids yes and you don't want to see some of this stuff. Now, the game is pretty violent and pretty graphic as it is. But you could actually take away the the nudity. You could take away the gore. Uh, there's no blood splatter, no blood texture, uh, no dismemberment. All these things you could take away from the game. So this yeah. almost makes it safe for kids. I wouldn't, still wouldn't recommend it for younger children, obviously. But say you got someone that's like, I don't know, 13, 14, you know. A little bit older, a little bit more mature, probably, depending on your child, obviously. Mm. This would be a good one for you guys because you could actually go through and change all this sort of stuff for them. But you can eat, if you're arachnophobe, take, yeah. take out the spiders. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's all these really, really good options. Anyway, I'll let you play with that one. Uh, what is it? Tank mod? There's nothing you can really do with that one. That's just, yeah. Yeah. It's all bullshit <laughs> yeah uh zipline extender that's already set to max and everything like that so you don't need to really do anything with this one here uh yep that's all done all right yep let's go into a game and we can show you exactly i want to go into the most recent build that we've been working on which is the the bridge i yep. want to show you exactly what i'm talking about oh look at the pretty boy shut up don't, ah. look, don't look at my ah. photo <laughs> and i'm still in axle mod from beforehand let's get out of that so hit your insert key or whatever key you're using and let's just turn that off actually let's go somewhere quieter let's just drop down here on the ground there we go all righty okay so um You've got the God Mode, okay? All down the left-hand side is all the God Mode, Seminar, No Hunger, and all that sort of stuff. Um, if you just click the um, God Mode, nothing else matters as far as that's concerned, okay? So, but Pretty if much. you want to do the game legit, just leave all that stuff off. Uh, important one is no full damage for me. Yeah, um, that's why I got six mine as well. Yeah, okay. Um, naturally, it is what it... It is what it says. Um, okay, so uh, next you have no clip. Okay. This um, is the so, best part. Yeah. This here, the fly hack and the um, no clip are joined together um, and work as one. Um, so you tick that in. Okay, so it says next one's um, the speed. So you can just say you've landed in game and you want to go look around the map. So it's set at four point or something like that at the beginning okay then you can take it all the way up to maxed out and you can make it from one end of the island to the other in a matter of seconds but you can't see much because you'll be going too fast all right this is your normal normal speed you're going to be flying at which is great for building and everything like that yeah so this is and it, you hit your um your run like shift or yep. down on your uh on control your, pad uh and you can run like fly around a little bit faster. Now, yeah. this is where it becomes a little bit funny. So we could turn that max up, the up down speed. I wouldn't max that because you probably don't need it. Mm. But we could now fly basically across the map in a matter of seconds. Yeah. So this is what we do when we're looking for base locations. We just basically turn this on. Yeah. And we can see the terrain. We can see everything that we need to see. Yep. Yeah. And the beauty of it is, once you've hit, um, once you've, you're in fly mode, you can actually, um, the no clip comes into it as well. So you can actually, don't have to go over the, over the mountain, 
you just go. You fly through the game. Yep. Okay. Um, it gets, sometimes it gets, at the beginning it gets a little bit um, disorienting. Um, but you will get used to it. Um, so yeah, as, as Chris said, um, that's the speed mode when we're looking around for spots. Um, if you take it back to, I normally run mine at around about four, four and a half um, on the speed and that allows me to build a little bit better. But at this point, um, with Chris looking around like he is, I'd hit insert and remove um, on the right side you've got no lakes or no ocean no um, waterfalls that all works just like the commands yep. the important one that we use is no forest no forest that was the next thing we're going to go to there as well so no forest yep, well, so automatically bam no trees no nothing this is really good if you're looking for a flat bit of lands because you don't have to worry about the trees. So this is how we found the um, site for the military base. Because yes. we're looking around, we're looking for a flat bit of land, and I'm going to turn this rain off real quick, okay? Yeah. It's annoying me. There we go. Simple as that, isn't it? <laughs> Simple as that. we got some flat land here. This is a nice yeah. little location here. Mm. It's kind of weird to look at it like this, but... You know, it is what it is. As soon as you turn it back, yeah, when, I'm like, whoa. Yeah, when you find a spot, you just um, find out how you put the, um, take the uh, no forest off and have a look at it, see what it's like. Because we look for um, uh, best views to build on. Not just the build itself, but its surroundings. Yep. Um, because that makes the picture, that help makes the picture a lot better. This is going to be a good one for everybody, especially people that want to build in the ocean. No ocean. Yeah. Yeah, no ocean. You Damn. just take out. You can start building now. Because yep. you don't have to worry about the water. You still have the sharks and everything. They don't bite you. Don't worry about it. They won't do anything. But you can start building out in the middle of the ocean now. Yep. It is so cool. I love it. That's how we've been able to do a lot of our builds, honestly. Yeah. Um, same as if you... Let's go find the big lake. If anyone watched the video where we made the swimming pool. Yeah, there we go. This is the location for the big swimming pool. We're just going to take out the lake. Bam. And then you can start building in there as well. Yeah. It's as simple as that. It is so oh. damn easy. It's great. Yeah. Now, the beauty of it is you, you, yeah, it comes on and off as fast as, as fast as that. So nothing's permanent. You don't have to go out of the game like um, in some... Um, uh, mans and all that sort of stuff you might have to go out of the game this you don't yep real quick this one as well that I really like as well for instance you need to freeze a lake or whatever you need to do we got down here we've got the seasons yep so you don't have to keep worrying about changing it we're going to change it to winter just give it a few minutes and it will quickly not, not maybe not a few minutes but it will start to creep down you'll see the winter will kick in very, very shortly. It might not be like super fast because winter obviously takes a bit of time to roll down the mountain and vice versa when you're taking it off. But it will start to work yeah. very shortly. What happens if you go for a quick bolt around the the um, map yeah. and when you get back it might be... Oh, uh, well, not really, but yeah, you, you, okay. need to, you need to give it a minute. There you go. Yeah, she's starting to come down now. And you'll see winter starting to move down slowly. It will take a minute. Starts to snow. Yep. There we go. There we go. And then everything will start creeping down into the valleys and into the forest. Just takes a it's bit of time. It's sensational how that how the, how it works, isn't it? Yeah, right? it's unbelievable. Like, because it's it's the like game. the real game. Like when you first turn to winter. Oh, sorry. When it turns winter in the game itself, it does take a bit of time for it to creep down yeah. and turn on. But we will get there in a minute. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Starting to turn everything winter. There you go. Which means Sweet as. everything is now going to be frozen where you want to be. Obviously, you've got to go away from it quickly. You come back. It should be frozen. And if it's not, then you just got to give it a bit more time. There we go. There you go. Sometimes you just got to go to go away from the location for it to work. Yeah. 
But then you got snow. Anyway, so yep. we'll leave that on for now. A couple other things that I really would like to mention as well. If you want to just say move a little bit faster as well. Yeah. Movement yeah. here. You can increase your walk speed, run speed, spin speed, jump. Multiply is a really good one. A lot of people yeah, love using that one. Me, yeah. Um, so you could jump. I think this goes in the same method as units, right? Yep. Uh, yep. Grids. So 1.0 is one grid high jump or something like that. Yep. And then yep. you could, yeah. yeah, you could you could yeah. go as high as you want. I don't like using it because I'm it's, so used to jumping at that height. If I then, need yes, to, yeah, if I need to go higher, I'll just turn axle mods on and I'll just fly up there. Why? Yeah, that's a good one. So this is the map that I was talking about. So what for you? Well, normally it'll be M for me. It's home. Yep. It doesn't work, so don't rely on it. It's not a good thing. I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't work, but it doesn't work. Another good thing we want to mention as well in this. Now, this goes back pages and pages. There's, there's tons yeah. of stuff to really worry about. You can automatically equip your armor here as well. Yep. So you've right. got your bone armor, creepy armor, you know, deer hide armor, all that. Yep. Re really good one as well if you want to quickly put some armor and just equip it. Yep. Uh, next one here next, is a really, yeah, really good one. James loves this one, and I do too. Yeah. When you're... um. Hypothetically, you just build a base and um, those coordinates on the side there, if you keep those, write them down as your base land, and then um, you can actually uh, go for a gallivant around the countryside or whatever or down into a um, cave and you want to go straight back to your base after the cave um, and you want to do it on your feet or whatever, um, you go to your um, F1 on your console commands and type in go to um, go to and then write your yeah write um, coordinates down and then you've basically got your coordinates so every time yeah. but you've got the teleporter machine these days so it's not really necessary yeah, for your base yeah. but if you've got a, uh, an area of interest and you can't you know you want to remember exactly where it is this will give you a pinpoint location exactly where you've yeah. got to go. Now, another thing is, well, if you haven't used cheat stick before or if you do use cheat stick and you've got to constantly put in cheat stick, right, you don't have to anymore. With yeah. Axel mods, all you do is hit F1. You don't have to worry about putting cheat stick in as well. It's just, it's just that easy. Yeah. So we're going to quickly go over to the next page on your right-hand side. Oh, my oh, page. James's <laughs> favorite page. This is where your shotguns, your pistols, everything like that. We could do rapid fire now, and you have a... Oh, it's fully automatic. Yep. So now, I want to mention real quick as well, this is not flawless. This does have its problems. Sometimes while you're in flight mode, you could open your inventory, right, and do all that sort of stuff. Sometimes you can't. Um, keep in mind as well... I just want to show you this real quick. Sounds wicked. So you got your normal yeah. rifle. <laughs> James loves it. You start. You got yourself an automatic rifle. That's that's automatic gotta be that's like a thousand gun. rounds a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so when you find yourself a decent little enemy, if you could find one, that'd be you awesome. Can dissect him pretty well. You will just I'm unload an arsenal. Yeah. And you never run out of ammo. You, you never run out of ammo. So you don't never have to yeah. reload either. Well, that's another thing on the side um, of that Axle mod. Um, you've got unlimited ammo. Yep. Always um, got tons so that's of ammo. That's always good. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a campsite right here. Let's see if we've got any enemies. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yep, there we go. Chop them down. Ooh, nice shot. I personally prefer the rifle. Uh, this the shotgun. Shotgun. It's not so loud. It's pretty loud. But anyway, let's get back to it. All right. Okay, so that's all that part there. Um, night okay. V speeds. You got all that. Uh, hang glider speeds. You can adjust all that. You know, there's there's just so much we could go on and yeah. on. Honestly, okay, you can spawn so in all sorts of different things. For those guys that are um, trying to do the rabbit thing at the moment with their hutches and all that sort of thing. Yeah. I need to go... Adequately not found. Okay, something's not right with this now. They had an update 
um, a day or so back. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Virginia. Oh, that's why it's a little bit funny. Yeah, it's not to even me. The, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know. Carl doesn't exist anymore. Andy doesn't exist anymore. Danny doesn't exist anymore. Where are they all? I don't know. Babies. You want a moose? Twinsies. Mrs. Puffett. And I'm about ready to get smashed here. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Oh. That, that, that was sensor mod working at its best. Oh, baby. Bad baby. But yeah, you get the point. Some of these may work, some of them might not. Um, let's get a demon Ooh. boss in here. He dead. He's so, dead. All right, let's move over to the next page. Okay. Graphic settings. I wouldn't touch any of this sort of yeah. stuff. He got, you know, achievements, unlock all achievements. I wouldn't do that either, but that's up to you at the end of the day. Do you want to um, do a quick... Uh, oh. Uh, uh, a quick build with fly. Fly mode on just to show them how... What sort of settings we use for... Um, actually yep. okay. installing. Uh, so I'm going to like set that. my no clip fly hack um, back down to say... I usually use about six. Yep. That, that still works pretty fast, but... So that's what I mean. Like sometimes it will work. So if you have an issue with opening inventory, just get out of it, open your inventory, and then go back into it. And that should yeah. work for you. And But we, you don't need to really worry about inventory too much when you're you're building, but you're just going to type in log hack, and then you could start laying as you go. Yeah, and up and up and up and... Yep. Just keep another going. Thing, another thing. Um, it's not perfect, but it is pretty damn good. Yeah. It's really, really easy. This is how we do it. And if you say doing a two story building or something like that, yep. this is how you're going to make life a it's, hell of a it, lot easier. It is awesome for doing lighting. Oh, yeah, definitely. Lighting is a big, big thing. Running wire and everything like that on. On overhangs of A-frames and stuff like that. Yep, hundred uh, percent. You would need another... to reach. Uh, this is where your inventory comes in, right? So you're in your inventory. Yeah. You want to lay some wiring around. Go back at your light bulbs. It gets to that hard to reach places yeah. without you know scaffolding and stuff like that. If you're doing lighting, say for instance in the water or really really shallow areas, you yeah. can go into the earth a little bit. And, and then sort of turn it on like that. It, yeah. it works really well. But that's it. This another. Oh, sorry, sorry, Chris. Um, another thing I'd like, um, maybe suggest to show is multiple, um, blueprint. Okay, if you're putting down, um, right, a gotcha. blueprint in in um fly mode. Yeah, you can't do it in fly mode. You'll have to go well, out, you, go into yes. your blueprints. Yes. Say, for instance, we're going to... Um, oh, wait, hang on. doesn't matter, what, to, it. Doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, I'll just... Platform. Platform? Yeah, platform. Let's go to a platform. We're going to do a big old platform, right? We're yeah. going to turn back on our fly mode. Yep. And from here... Okay. As long as you hit shift while you're doing it, you can keep doing it. And it, yeah. Oh, actually, I need to put instant book build on. Okay, so we could finish that, but I have to get rid of that. So now you can't go back into your yeah. thing. So you get to just drop down, go back into it. That's why you hold shift. Yeah. We'll go back into it real quick. And we're going to start to build out if it allows us to hold shift. See how the blueprint stays. See that that's the problem with the uh, the ropes, man. The ropes are really yeah. annoying. Yeah. So maybe oriented where the ropes are not going to be in the way. Yeah. Where's the rope? There it is. So we're gonna go that way. Yeah. And you can just join it on. Yep. And then see how you could just yeah. Just keep going. And this is really good when you're working over water or over like rough terrain. 
Yep. Oops. Side of mountains and stuff like that. Messed that up a little bit, but oh well. Oh, you... Yeah. Yep. But it is um, use the shift key. It's a little bit um, hands here, there, and everywhere, but... Well, not really for using keyboard and mouse. It's only because we yeah. use controller a lot of the time for building. It's just a bit of a yeah. pain, but if you're using keyboard and mouse, it's probably like second nature to you anyway. Yeah, yeah. But um, that is an important thing because, like, if you're doing multiple, it's so much easier. Now, like, Chris does the, Chris does the um, shift thing. Um, I don't do it. Uh, I just forget to do it. Um, it took me a while to learn it as well. Yeah, it's it like Chris does a second nature. I sort of it took me a while um, to get used to it. Yeah, but, the hand and remembering. But a lot of people use shift anyway when they're already laying things. So for yeah, most people, it's probably yeah. not an issue for me. I'm always just going in and out of my inventory and stuff like that. So yeah, yep, that's gonna have to do it for this one. This one, this video yep. is taking a little bit longer than I expected, but that's okay. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hopefully, this was helpful for everybody. And if you could please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. That would be awesome. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.